viewers, today marks a dangerous new low for freedom of expression and choice. Times Now has accessed physical evidence of a shameful plot against India's unity. Amidst the protests on citizenship, some Muslim radicals have begun bullying those from among their community who have extended support to the NDA citizenship legislations. Now, the head cleric of the Ajmer Darga has been picketed and intimidated today in a shocking act of intolerance. This will go down as yet another black letter day in this ongoing saga of protests and, of course, recriminations and retribution. We've seen police excesses. We've seen violence viewers by protesters who are actually agents for various political parties. But what we hadn't seen was bullying of individuals who had expressed their support democratically for a legislation, an act passed by parliament. Now, this is a very, very insidious turn. Why? Because it appears, viewers, that anyone who today backs a particular point of view is fair game. And I'm not talking about the fringe here. They're not fair game for the fringe. They are becoming increasingly targets. Targets. For even the mainstream. Now this head cleric of the Ajmer Darga has openly attacked those who are spreading panic and rumors against the citizenship laws. He has said that no one, especially living in India, is affected by the CAA. His plea has come out at a time when large number of Muslims have been fed all sorts of misinformation, rumors by vested interests to get them out into the streets and react sometimes beyond the ken of the law. First, listen to the cleric viewers. Bharat Duniya ka sabse bada pajadant hai. Yehi hamari taqat hai. Sarkar ko kanun manane ka dikar hai aur desh ki praja ko uska samman karna chahiye. Bharat sarkar ne jo nagrik ta sanshodan bil pas karke jo kanun ka roop diya hai wo kisi bhi tarah se is desh ke muslimano ke virud nahi hai. Aur is kanun se Bharat mein rehne wale kisi bhi musliman now, viewers, these words should be praised, not because they may necessarily be informed, but because they come from within a community that today feels it is being persecuted. And therefore, this is an attempt to calm and restore faith in the idea of India and, of course, constitutionalism. But these words of support instead have come to haunt Zainul Abedin Chisti. Now, here are the worrying hard facts which would make up sit up, sit up and notice. It's a shocking separatist mindset which is leading an assault on the Union of India. Dangerous precedent, I've said, is being set, viewers. These are the hard facts. Muslims supporting CAB are being shamed with regular monotony, whether it's in Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, and now, of course, at the Darga. The cleric of the Ajmer Sharif Darga has been hounded. His effigies have been burnt. Black fags have been uh, waved. And also, people have said that they are willing to boycott him, ostracize him. Is this acceptable? Should Muslims be frightened into opposing the Citizenship Amendment Act? Should they be shamed? 
left vulnerable to fear for their lives? How's this tolerance? Listen now to the fury being directed at this cleric viewers. Pay attention. आज दरगाह में जुमे की नमाज के बाद बॉन्ड जूस निकाला विवास्पद आर जी दरगाह दीवान का पुतला जलाया जो भी केंद्र में सरकार होती है उसके पक्ष में बातें करता है इसलिए अजमेर के मुसलमानों का रोष था कि उसने जो पिछले दिनों कानून में बदलाव हो रहा है एन सी ए आर का जो हो रहा है ए सी सी का जो हो रहा है कैम्प का जो हो रहा है उसके समर्थन में उसने यहाँ बयान दिया था तो उसके विरुद्ध में यहाँ पुतला जलाया गया कि जिस समाज के लोगों ने जिस समाज पे प्रहार हो रहा है उस समाज के लोगों ने इसकी हिमायत करी है दरगाह दीवान हो चाहे दरगाह कमेटी का अध्यक्ष हो तो समाज ने निर्णय लिया कि उनका पहले सामाजिक बहिष्कार भी किया जाए विरोध भी किया जाए अपने स्तर पर उसी क्रम की संख्या में जो हमने जो है आज दीवान का और दरगाह कमेटी का पुतला दीजन किया बॉयकॉट दीज इंडिविजुअल्स ऑस्ट्रसाइज दैम This is not the first time, viewers, that Muslims supporting Modi or even the construction of a Ram Mandir have been shamed by members of the community as traitors, as apostates. <coughs> Last week, Times Now brought you the voice of a Muslim MLA who belongs to Nitish Kumar's party. He confirmed he was also being hounded for endorsing his party's stand. He wasn't alone, as you can see on the screen, viewers. The names and telephone numbers of several others, including a woman, have been put out on Twitter. We told you this last week, so that people can call them and berate them. Listen to this. Is bill par, jis tarah se mere numbers aur digar jo parties ke party ke hamare MLAs aur MLCs hain, unke number ko viral karke aur tweet kar karke. तो ये तो खुले तौर से सिक्योरिटी का सेफ्टी का एक चैलेंज तो हो गया है देखिए सबसे बड़ी बात क्या है यहाँ कानून का शासन है अगर किसी भी जनप्रतिनिधि को इस तरह की धमकियाँ मिलेंगी और वो पुलिस को संपर्क करेंगे तो निश्चित तौर पर ऐसे तत्वों के खिलाफ कार्रवाई सुनिश्चित की जाएगी देखिए इस तरह के नंबर वायरल हुए हैं इसकी तो मुझे जानकारी नहीं है अगर ऐसा है अगर ऐसा है तो मैं अपने माननीय सदस्यों से ये जरूर कहना चाहूँगी कि इसके लिए वो इमीडिएट इसकी शिकायत वो पुलिस में करें प्राथमिकी दर्ज करवाएं या पुलिस को सूचना इसकी वो दें और उनको निश्चित रूप से इमीडिएट ये करना भी चाहिए था लेकिन वायरल ऐसा कुछ नंबर इसकी जानकारी मुझे नहीं है वेल व्यूअर्स इट्स अ सैड डे एंड आई वॉन्ट टू ओपन दिस आउट तहसीन पुनावाला ऑल्सो ज्वाइंस दिस डिबेट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू बिगिन विथ हेम तहसीन पुनावाला I want to ask you straight off the bat is it a crime today for muslims to speak up for parliament and an act passed by parliament should they be ostracized for reposing faith in parliament in the judgment of parliamentarians an unconstitutional act passed by the parliament of india Ought to be opposed at religious gatherings in public in no, the no. Supreme Court of India. How are you India saying it's India unconstitutional, sir? As so far as this, no, no, one minute. Don't spread another bunch of fakery. How are you I saying it's saying unconstitutional? Explain. On what If basis you are you saying it's unconstitutional? Me, this act violates. It allegedly. This act violates. Allegedly, you are saying violates. It's an accusation. This act violates. It, it doesn't. It's according no. to Tehsin no. Punawala and a bunch of other Latians lawyers that it violates. It has to be proven. There are enough top lawyers, sir. Hari Salve was on this show. There were many others who have come out and said there's nothing wrong with this. Now this matter is in court. It's sub judice. You know this. Why are you deliberately today? trying to show up parliament as some body of desperados who are undoing the written word of the constitution what are you doing i i take your point i take i'll, I'll answer that sir i take your point with due respect that it deserves and i put the same question to you by your same logic by the logic of rahul shiv shankar the shabanu uh, judgment was reversed by parliament why wasn't the act of parliament taken by due deliverance by uh, rahul shiv shankar why is that considered i think you forgotten sir by the that it was a logic, judgment of the supreme court Rahul that Rahul was undone when please please let me finish let me finish let me finish that it was a judge wasn't a judgment it was a personal law brought in no judgment that judgment as a result became undone 
Let me point number two. What are you By saying? The same logic. Supreme Court of India gave a decision in. Uh, no, listen. Sabri don't Mala. beat around the bush. Get to the Let point. I'm asking you, who like are little... individuals? You asked me a question. No, no. Who are you individuals? Look, one minute. Judgment has been applied. You can disagree. You can go to the court. Can I? But are you going to shame okay. people from within your community okay. who have faith in the written word, written word of a writ passed by Parliament? So are you going to go out there and thing. shame them tomorrow for supporting it? A writ. Is that democracy? You talk about fascism constantly. You say Modi is bringing in fascist rule. What is this? This is like the brown shirts. Okay, sir. I like to answer that. <laughs> Anything passed by Parliament is not sacrosanct. It can be challenged. A. Point number two. This one Khadim, the head Khadim, the main Khadim, may be Modi's stooge. Because he's dependent upon Modi's funds, because Ajmer Modi stooge comes under Central Government Act, and funds are given by Narendra Modi. But, but let me finish. Do not interrupt me. All the other Khadims, and I'm in touch with all of them. I go to Ajmer every two or three months. You know, all there the was other Khadims there that contacted was, me. No, no, one second. No, no, one minute. Other, can I kindly be allowed to make my point without you interrupting me? Because it is very unfair that you keep interrupting me, and I don't have a. Tessin Punawala, so other JDU MLAs other also. Since no, no, one minute. Let's. No, I'm. I'm sorry. You can't have a vilification hold campaign on, against an individual on. who is not here to protect his fair name. No, I will sir. not allow you. You, are, you produce no, the evidence you tonight. To you produce the evidence. Since you are talking. You produce the evidence. Don't malign people. If you allow me, I can say the same about you. You're a Gandhi family. Don't I can say me. that. Don't be a speed breaker. How would you Don't like be it? A speed breaker. Would you Don't like it? Wall. Would you like it? I'm Rahul Gandhi stooge. I'd rather be Rahul Gandhi stooge than be Narendra Modi's. I'd rather be Rahul Gandhi stooge than be associated with Narendra Modi. Look at how low we are going with this. Look at how low we are going with this. All Khadims in Ajmer Sharif. Are you? Oh, I oh I cannot I cannot go lower than how low. No, no, Mr. Bukhari, who supported the CAA, who is also who is also a Sonia Gandhi supporter, was also branded by you and some other individuals on this very show as a Modi stooge. So people who don't agree with your point of view, you call them stooges, bhaks, sir. Paid and bribed. Sir, two points. I would like to end my submissions on two points. Bigots. That's what you said. I like to end my submissions with two quick points. A, all make okay, sensible. Sir, points. I like to end my point. Your questions with two submissions. A, you are talking about democracy. All Khadims in Ajmer are elected. If all the other Khadims have opposed this one guy, obviously the democratic precedence, as per you, should take. Uh, sir, precedence. I am talking Their about the principle of Khadim the needs. right Please to go B. against B. the B. prevailing B. sentiment the in a particular matter. community, and a person should be allowed to express that. Instead of being no bullied, sentiment. threatened with ostracization, the, so the that CAA. everyone. Come on, I'm, look, I'm going to open this out. You're not making much sense today. Today you're off. The CAA. Tessin Punawala, no, you're really not, off the mark. The you are scratching around not to belittle this man. You're maligning his image. Have some shame, he's not even here. And you call and yourself you his not friend. Ask the question, Rahul Shiv Shankar. Why is why is the cutoff date in Assam from 7 to 2000? The Supreme Court will, will sit in judgment the of all these things. They have already sat December in judgment of all these things. You will not ask the question, Let's Rahul Shiv. Let's get to the point. You don't have an argument tonight. The NRC in Assam, the NRC in Assam, sir, was a Supreme Court mandated process, part of the Assam Accords. One minute, Dr. Sambit Patra wants to come in here. All these questions, but you can come in, sir, as a Muslim in 30 seconds. Dr. Sambit Patra needs to come in because. It is being alleged that Muslims who are supporting the government today are all bought out. Respond, sir. No, as far as the allegation that the cleric of Ajmer Sarif was a Modi stooge, yesterday it was General Bipin Rawat who was a Modi stooge. And what was the fault of all these people? The fault of all these responsible citizens was that they were calling out for peace. They did not want violence. They wanted peaceful protest. They were talking about good leadership. And they said that for God's sake, this has nothing to do with Muslims of India. The CAA does not alienate the Muslims of India in any way. For that, if you call them as stooge 
of Mr. Modi. It's well and fine for you, Arundhati Roy, who calls for chaos and anarchy. Uh, 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 people like Arundhati Roy, Yakub Memon, uh, Burhan Wani's are your heroes. But uh, the army chief of the country, the Ajmer Sharif's Darga chief, they are stooges. So be it. But remember, Rahul, what what is what 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 is our prime responsibility? Our prime responsibility is to see to, who is who is this Ramayana serial. I mean, just a second. Uh, I, I mean, Rahul, our prime responsibility is see to it that violence does not prevail, that we have peaceful protest. Well, yes, democracy allows peaceful protest. What did the cleric say? The cleric said the truth that the Muslims of India are not going to be affected. Ironically, the same sentiment was echoed by the Jama Masjid's uh, Shahi Imam. So would they say that the Sahi Imam is also sold out? Thirdly and extremely importantly, I don't see any of these so-called liberals ever coming on television and condemning the kind of violence that we have been seeing on the street. Well, Who would do that? Who I think a community leader who's doing I mean, it should be saluted. All a community leader who's coming out and saying to his community, look, let's not get carried exactly. away. Trust me, believe me. Do you know, viewers, and I want to tell you this. In Silampur, in parts today of Uttar Pradesh, and we are glad for this. Community leaders who are clerics, molanas, have come out and counseled. Counseled the people to maintain peace. We should be saluting these individuals, not walking through the streets asking for their boycott. Now, Mr. Shahzad Punawala, I want you to hear, I want to play out this gentleman's soundbite once again. Pay attention to these words and you tell me if what he's saying is wrong, if what he's saying should deserve him to be ostracized from his community, let's play out those words. Bharat Duniya ka sabse bada pajadant hai. Yehi hamari taqat hai. Sarkar ko kanun banane ka dikar hai aur desh ki praja ko uska samman karna chahiye. Bharat sarkar ne jo nagrik ta sanshodan bill pass karke जो कानून का रूप दिया है वो किसी भी तरह से इस देश के मुसलमानों के विरुद्ध नहीं है और इस कानून से भारत में रहने वाले किसी भी मुसलमान को डरने की जरूरत नहीं है आई वांट यू टू टेल मी शहजाद पूनावाला व्हाट इज रॉन्ग अबाउट आस्किंग कम्युनिटीज टू रीअफर्म देयर फेथ इन डेमोक्रेसी टू फॉलो द रूल ऑफ लॉ now there is a process if you feel that the rule is infringing upon certain rights it's going to be challenged in the supreme court but is this the is this the bullying that you're going to resort to the intimidation what if sir tomorrow you decided to take a position which was not enjoyed by members of your own community and they showed up outside your house and they burnt your effigy they threatened you with a social boycott how do you react sir they already do they already do because my views on ca are very clear and rahul i would like to begin by saying that for the indian liberals and secularists who champion the cause of minority rights freedom of expression and tolerance is a one way street and one way. so much so that their fatwas their labels and their dictates would put to shame even the most strident talibanis and the most strident wahhabi sects of islam that uh, practice uh, this kind of fundamentalism now here is my point what has mr i know uh, and the most affected will laugh on it now please ask ask yourselves the yeah, position articulated by zainul abdi is a position articulated by the supreme court of india and the parliament he stood with the institutions of this country and he has been labeled by tehsin punawala as dalal kafir bhakt infidels and so on and modi stooch now i want to ask that arundhati roy who advocated <coughs> vidro who advocated going against uh, who advocated subversion uske liye taali but zainul abdin ko gali now here is my larger point that i want to make what has zainul abdin said that he said that please do not create a sense of fear it affects the vote bank politics and the final point i want to make is that all of this tehsin punawala and his ilk are doing in the name of minority muslims indian muslims right they are 
abusing Zainul Abdin, a patriotic Muslim who stands with the constitution and the institutions of India for championing the cause of a Hafiz Sayyid. Here is the irony that they are, they are abusing a Zainul Abdin because they want to include a Hafiz Sayyid in the let amendment get, in the CA. Let this me get is the Varish Patan, narrative. Varish Patan respond. <laughs> Varish Patan tonight, they you need to respond, you need to speak Hitler as a responsible member of your community Christians. and you there need to. Two leaders who believe Hitler will not send him to concentration camps. One you second. Know this? Well, you, know, you know, who took the Hitler's don't trivialize the debate. Okay, if, if, if Mr. Modi is sending Muslims well, to, uh, uh, is sending Modi is sending Muslims camps to concentration camps, why are you Hitler inviting other Muslims? Like why are you inviting Pakistani Muslims? Why are you inviting Afghani Muslims? Don't invite those Muslims, save them at least. are supporting Narendra Modi. But I refuse Look at this. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right on this point, Shadat Punawala. I think you're absolutely right. You can't have it both ways. You can't say no, no, yes, absolutely. You can't say tonight, and this is a point I made earlier too. You can't say India has become an intolerant place for Muslims, but still say that other Muslims want to come here who are persecuted, and we must give them a home. If India was so bad for Muslims, why are these other Muslims wanting to come here? Why are the Rohingyas wanting to come here? Why are the Baluchis wanting to come here? Why is the MQM wanting to come here? Why are members of the Sindhi community wanting to come here? Muslim members, why are people from Baluchistan wanting to come to India? Ask yourself these questions. Shameful. Shameful. One minute, Varish you Patan, you need to come in and India respond. And one second, Tehzeeb I'm going to blow your credit in 30 seconds and if and you don't keep quiet. No, 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 no. Varish Patan, come in on this. Lower down their filter, I want to make a very important point. India is such a bad place for Muslims. This is the way we speak about the Prime Minister. I need to reply. The statement made by the cleric were in his own personal capacity. Nobody, and what matters? Who took it seriously? He backtracked from his statement after four days. Naturally, now, today there was because he was threatened. At Ajmer Sharif Darga against the NRC and the CAA. You are terrorizing people, sir. Peacefully, and the entire roads were blocked. People came there. So you are the political no, no, no. Taliban who, who of India. No, political he Taliban. From his if you don't agree to Varis Patan's Shahi point of view, of the, you then you are ostracized. Those Your statements are not boxing. relevant. The this next day, Chandrasekhar like Azad Bhim Army went there along with thousands of protesters and they protested there peacefully. No violence. Varis Pathan, now, if you are the, the champion, you are the poster boy of tolerance, can I as a Muslim have a view different than yours, yes or no? Law, against the Varis Pathan, you talk about tolerance, you talk about secularism, you talk about liberal ideology. Can I as a Muslim differ from your point of view or do I have to agree to your point of view? The NRC and the CA. Varis Pathan, Mr. Sharapuddin, I am not even talking to a bigot like you. I am talking to Varis Pathan. Varis Pathan, Varis Pathan, you champion the cause of liberalism every night. The constitution you say clear. that you are the protector of tolerance in this country. Says that the no, no, Can no, I have no, a view no, different from no, yours? So Can Zainul Abdin have a view different from what is your view and OVC's no, view? My view is the same view as the Constitution from permits me to. Says who? The my Supreme Court hasn't ruled on it. The, the Supreme same. Court, in fact, Nobody has allowed the Act to views, continue. Sir, the views of the Constitution. Are you about the Supreme Court and Parliament? Form a law on the basis are you about the Supreme Court and Parliament? And the NRC. Mr. Varis Patan, are you about the Supreme Court and Parliament? It's a black law. It's against the black law, the green law, red law, orange law. No, the Bank Supreme Bank Court has allowed the law. Parliament no, has legitimately the passed the law. Permits. I want there to stand with the law passed by two institutions in of my country. Can I? Yes or no? I don't want to listen to your Those description of the law. I want to go by the institutional mechanism that has passed the law. Can I do it or will I be called a Modi Dalal, a stooge? Will I be called an apostate? Will I be called a kafir? Will I be called an infidel? Will I be asked to be stoned to death? That we are introducing the bill which is supported by 130 crore Indians. What happened there? Today, why so much protest in the streets? Who is protesting? Not only If that is your standard, there are equal number of protests in support of the bill. There are equal country. number of protests in support of the bill. The constitution. They are protesting to save the democracy. They the bill has been passed by a majority in both houses they of parliament. You have one, you have two Lok Sabha MPs. Save the country a majority of Lok Sabha that represents the people, people of like India, a majority of the Rajya Sabha that represents the Council of States, has passed the bill.
bill legitimately constitutionally you are two why members of parliament hijacking the institution of the parliament and the supreme court and anybody who runs though, counter to your view I mean, is branded of the of the is, is ostracized is, is made to feel ashamed against the why against the draconian law says who who? Oh, where is he? I mean, and his chumchas. Okay, listen. Listen, one minute. I need to come in Amit on this. Shah one second. Amit Shah should be ashamed uh, of making uh, this Listen, let, of let Dr. Why Patra Amit respond. Said and I want Dinesh Vajne's sensible voices to come in on this. Shadab Kunawala has made some important points tonight. And viewers, one minute. What we are seeing is the subversion of a democratic right of an individual to stand. One minute. Varis Padan, now keep quiet, please. I want to bring in Dr. Patra. Let him respond. Respond. Yes, Dr. Patra, respond. See, why don't you send Shadar no, no. also to keep quiet when I was making my point? I want this to say Rahul, what, what, I Mr. Varish Nadas, please allow me to speak. I believe if we are speaking about order, if we are speaking about calm and peace, at least we should be peaceful in a debate. Why have chaos in debate? Why have anarchy in debate? Respect each other. Eight seconds, please. Yeah, eight minutes. Please, please, Relax, please, calm down. Please, Mr. Ilyas Shafruddin. I don't have a please. in front of me. Let him make I his point, you can rebut it. Dinesh Vashan has not even spoken. Not can you put down their faders, please? Can we speak? No, you do not have a TV. Okay. Samit Pata, just a second. Ah, yes. We are on the principal yeah. viewers, just in case you've just joined this debate. We are on a very important principle tonight. Mr. Do Muslims, not watch them. Do Muslims have a right allow me to, to stand in support <laughs> with the NDA government and the Prime Minister? That's the basic question. Do they have a right today to stand in support of the a writ of Parliament? Any, uh, do they have the right viewers law. to... One minute, sir. To uphold Parliament. If they don't... Can I if speak? they don't, then yeah, that will be an assault, but the biggest assault on our inclusive democracy. You are giving it can I, can there are people I, tonight I, can who can don't I, want speak. a particular can point I, of view speak. to flourish. That's true. They want to smoke those people out. Can they I, want to intimidate I, them, speak. bully them, ostracize. and ostracize. Is that fair? I want to bring you in, Dr. Patra. You first make your point. Smoking is the one who smokes mushrooms. Rahul, I request that at least we are talking about tolerance in debate. At least we have to be tolerant of each other. I request other panelists, please hear me out at least for a few seconds. Thank you. Rahul, the bigger point over here is and what really intrigues me, what really disturbs me is there's an attempt since last few years in this country to ghettoize the Muslim community, to see to it that the Muslim community thinks in a particular way because of certain political benefits, uh, I mean, ushered in by their political masters. And look, in the Ram Temple issue, most of these people felt that all the Muslim community should be condemning the decision of the Supreme Court. Hmm. OAC, etc. were so the why, ones why who were leading this... the charge. Similarly, no, in abrogation of Article 317, the there was a view, there was a view that life, abrogation of Article 317 was anti-Muslim. This is sir, please be tolerant, sir. Please be tolerant. You are a lawyer, sir. You are a lawyer. Did I speak when you were speaking, sir? Why is the brothers also protesting against this? allow him to finish. I'll allow you to rebut. If you're not going to allow him to finish. No, I have an objection to this. Uh, what is why is this tolerance what is why I asked the people of this country is this tolerance I heard every sentence made by Waris Bhai, <laughs> okay, but he okay, would not okay. allow me to speak okay, okay. is this what is happening on the streets also okay. please what is allow me okay 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 I mean, my question over here, limited point over here is in Article 370, there was a canard spread that whole Muslim community should oppose the abrogation of Article 370 because Article 370's abrogation was anti-Muslim. Hmm. Similarly, in triple talaq also, Mr. Owesi came out, Mr. Rahul Gandhi et al., all of them came out okay. and they said that this was an attack on the Muslim sentiments, so the Muslims should unite. This is a dangerous predicament, let me warn you, Mr. Rahul Shiv Shankar, because what these people for their petty political benefits are trying to do is they are silently trying to divide India under religious lines and Mr. Ovesi okay. and a few others are actually... Dinesh Vashne needs to respond to you, time. sir. The new Jinnah of present time. The division by stealth. Emulate. Division of this country by Jews stealth and, and propaganda and fakery. I consider as dangerous. I have objection but Sambit Patra is calling Asad Ovesi. No what what happens if I call Amit Shah as Bhotse? Will he like if I call Amit Shah as Bhotse? Will he like if I call Amit Shah as Bhotse? Will he like if I call Amit Shah as Bhotse? Will he like if I call Amit Shah as Bhotse? Will he like if I call India Modi is an illusion. 79 Kutsi. out of 79,000 protests, all types of people of India belonging to all religion, caste, creed, region have taken part in this protest against CAA, NRC, and NPR. And he is he is trying to portray this movement as a Muslim, which is their tactics. 
to divide the nation in the talks of Hindu Muslim. Then why attack so the philately economics do not come into the picture. not having a view. Failure of the Oasis party man. Do not come into the picture. You are contradicting Mr. Vashni. And Modi giving exemptions to the Mr. Vashni with due respect, Professor. Mr. Vashni, this is not just a Muslim protest. And looting the people of India do not come into the picture. Identity an issue. Preamble of the Why make him uh, ostracized in the community? The of you see, you're contradicting when yourself. You say Mr. Vasne, please listen to the argument the on the other side. Here's the argument I'm trying to make to you. If this is not a one religion issue, why would you single out the head priest who happens to just be the head priest of a darga and single him out and say you are a part of a community? How can you go against the community? That is fascism. That is fascism. NRC. Mr. Vashne, listen, don't He's sit here. No, I mean, first, let's talk oh, about the principle that is in dispute. Do you support a character assassination, a collective bullying of an individual because he happens to have a point of view? You tell me. Yes, no. Tyrants must be exposed. One minute. Dinesh Vashri. We don't require to have a character assassination of. We don't have to. We don't have to have a character assassination of this Maulana Saab or this Diwan Saab or Ajmer Sharif. But this Ajmer Sharif Diwan Saab may be innocent. He do not understand what is the constitution, or maybe some motive behind him. Because most of the time, why motive? Why motive? Can't somebody organically and objectively and perhaps out of their own volition support something? Why do you always read a motive? Are all Muslims supposed to be herds of animals? That whatever Sonia Gandhi and whatever OAC preach, the herd of Muslims should follow them? Is a Muslim a goat? Is a Muslim a herd? Is a Muslim a lamb? That your dictator, your forman, your fatwa has come. OAC has fatwa jarii kiya. Sonia Madam has fatwa jarii kiya. So the goats of the goat, the Muslim goats of India, have to follow their fatwa. What is it? Are we a herd of animals? Can't I have a different different view from OAC? Can't I have a different view from Sonia Gandhi? Can't I have a different view from Ahmed Patel? Am I a goat? Am I a herd? ये भेद बकरी है क्या? Reply. The people of हम भेद बकरी है क्या? अगर हमने अपनी view can I express my independent view? Then I am supposed to have a motive. My motive is my country first. My motive is that I want to support my constitution first. My motive is I want to support my parliament first. My motive is I want to stand by my supreme court first. Yes, that is your motive. What is your motive? Your motive is to stand by the Pakistan government. Your motive is to stand by the Pakistani narrative. Your motive, your motive is to stand by the Imran Khan government. All, all, not one religion. All. Sir, look at this. Look at this. India, you are standing with Imran. Okay, one second. You are in Imran's corner. I am in India's corner. Okay, one second. One second. Let's not. Let's not. I want Danish Canada. You want the you want the jihadi Hafiz Sayyid to be voted. I want Zainal. Shut up. One second. I know that this. I know that this is hitting at your core. Now, one minute. Okay, please lower everyone's status. I can't do this. We can't have this cross talking and fighting on a very sensitive issue. It all comes down to freedoms, freedom of expression. A person has a point of view. Why are we today threatening that individual with a boycott? This person is not a state. This person, in no certain terms, is a collaborator. Why would he go against his own community? He has a greater stake. He is... A elected member of a darga, from what I am told. I don't know the exact procedure, but someone said it. Why would he want to finish his own position? This makes no sense to me. What makes sense to me now is that there is an attempt to try and ghettoize certain individuals. And Tehsin Punawala. Why would a man risk his political yes, capital? Why would he risk it? His future? For what? I'll answer that, sir. No, he, I'll, I'll answer that. Is in I'll answer capacity. that, sir. 
There are How is it relevant for the community? This if man is losing. He spoke in his individual capacity. And my third point, sir, when Narendra Modi is interviewed to you, Rahul Shiv Shankar said, Sabri oh, Mala wow. judgment is not acceptable because it's a matter of fate. Why was Rahul Narendra Modi... Did Narendra Modi hit the streets and start boycotting every Modi Hindu, sir, that supported Why it? Exactly I'm asking you this question. Yes. Did he yes. did he individually did start Narendra calling Modi up people? Did, did he Narendra leak Narendra all their details, details and put them out in the press or put them out in the public? Public domain so others Modi could heckle those people. No, he didn't. Yes, this is a fact. Was an ordinance yes. brought in in Jalikatu? Yes, don't no. Jalikatu. Ordinance was brought in Sabri Mala case. Yes or no? And BJP left yes it. Yes or no? 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 Yes or with a law go challenge it in the supreme court go challenge it in whatever court of law you think can give you deliverance from the alleged inequality inequality in that particular inequity in that particular law no problems go do it but you can't start isolating people who want to follow that law you can't pick at them you can't spread rumors about them you can't say to others, ostracize them, throw them out of society. Where will this stop? This is the path to anarchy, viewers, and a complete subversion of freedoms. There are people who have very strong views in the minority community in favor of this particular bill. Should they all be pushed into the Arabian Sea or the Bay of Bengal? That's a question that today falls before us. You have to think about it, viewers. I want to move on.